it's really hard to describe the feeling of a parent to a child with special needs when you experience it. And we experienced everything from minor neglect and all the way to abuse. I knew that there must be a solution and that's why we created AngelSense. I can see now in real time my child on the school bus on his way back home. I can see that he will be home in 31 minutes and I can actually listen and hear in real time how he's doing. You can't imagine the peace of mind knowing everything is all right. Doan is not just a father of a child with special needs. He's a father with a background in tech development from the Israeli army. So he put his experience to work and created a GPS device that lets parents know when their child is safe and more importantly, when they're not. I had a chance to work both in Silicon Valley and different uh, areas. I think Israelis have something uh, unique. Israelis are very courageous and we're not very formal and don't always respect rules. Thinking really out of the box. Israelis are capable of doing huge things with very minimal resources. You do crazy things, right? You start moving before you're completely ready, right? You start sensing the market, sensing the users. Their startup reality is really reflecting the Israeli mentality. I feel, and, and many entrepreneurs are like that, that we don't have to take the world as is for granted that, you know, there's nothing to do about it. You can change reality. It's possible. If you take the technology and apply it to a very important problem like that, we can really change the world. We're doing that. New businesses are popping up and getting funding all over Israel, where entrepreneurship is the new norm. And in the heart of Tel Aviv, there's an organization called Startup Nation Central, where they seek to spread local innovation by connecting Israeli businesses with global partners. But along the way, they've discovered a lot about what it is that sets Israeli startups apart. When Israel was established, there wasn't a lot here to rely on. So mm -hmm. everything we did, we had to either create ourselves, develop ourselves, and essentially survive in the way that we could. And out of that was born a very specific characteristic set. Part of it is ingenuity, part of it is the combination of necessity, mm -hmm. and part of it is really amazing execution skills. So it's not just the idea, but it's also the way that you then take that idea and implement it so it actually works. When you think about ideas, someone in Silicon Valley once told me that there are many great ideas, but what makes the difference between an idea and a startup is the ability to execute upon that idea. You see Israel being now perceived as a renowned a world leader mm -hmm. when it comes to technology and innovation. The whole idea is once you have the skill set and the potential and the characteristics, the sky's the limit, so whatever challenge you throw, we'll figure out what the technology is that you need in order to help you solve it. If there's a global challenge that the world would need, there's probably an Israeli innovation that will help solve at least some of it. It's not hard to see the hand of God in all of this. He made a promise to prosper the Jewish people, and that's exactly what he's doing. And while businesses here grow, so does the local body of believers. God is raising up leaders to influence those around them and build his kingdom. CBN Israel wants to see this transform over to the business world as well. So they're hosting networking events with investors, providing training, and anything else they can do to fan the entrepreneurial flame and help believers build strong businesses. This vision has been carried for generations of believers in Israel of how do we grow in business. I believe that that is something important and significant to the kingdom of God in Israel. I believe that that is an area that has been almost untouched by the local believers. I think that it's important that every believer finds their calling and then walks in it. It's not a matter of being the most wealthy person in the state of Israel. It's a matter of being an influential person. And what are the values that you want to impact and how do you want to change society? Or how can you be a positive testimony for your beliefs? Israel's the startup nation. To see believers take part in that is exciting. That is part of what we're here for. We're seeing success all around Israel. People say all the time, I want to invest in Israel. I want to take part in the startup nation of Israel. 
That's awesome. But let's make sure that we're bringing the believers to the table with you. Let's make sure that we are bringing our faith to the table with us. It's not the Sunday outfit and the weekday outfit. It's one outfit that we wear every day. 